Let's look at how to create an ordered pairs table. We use an ordered pairs table to help us sketch the curve of a function. To start, let's pick a function. f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. We notice that we have two variables, the x variable and the f of x variable. x is the independent variable and f of x is the dependent variable. We use the variables as either column headings if we want a vertical ordered pairs table or row headings if we want a horizontal ordered pairs table. In our example we're going to pick a horizontal ordered pairs table. Since f of x is dependent on x, we'll pick some values of x and solve the equation to determine the values of f of x. In this case, I'm going to pick seven values of x, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and I'll just draw some lines in between and then solve for the equation for f of x. All right, let's go to our workspace to do some calculations. One of the values we selected for x was 0, which is a good one to start with because it's a fairly straightforward calculation. So f at 0 would be 2 times 0 q squared plus 3 times 0 minus 2. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0 plus 3 times 0, which is 0, leaves us with minus 2. So what we do is we know we come back over to our ordered pairs table. We've done the, done the calculation. So when x was 0, our value for f of x was minus 2. Let's do a couple more calculations in our workspace. One of the values we selected was negative 3. So let's see how that would work. 2 times negative 3 squared plus 3 times negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 and then the minus 2. So 9 minus 2 leaves us with 7. So what we would do is come over to our ordered pairs table and where x was minus 3, f of x was 7. We'd continue the process and when we did so we would find out that when x was minus 2 f of x would be 0. When x was minus 1, f of x would be minus 3. When x is 1, f of x will be 3. When x is 2, f of x will be 12. And when x is 3, f of x would be 25. We now have a completed ordered pairs table, and the x values and their corresponding f of x values represent ordered pairs. So for example, negative 3, 7, is an ordered pair. Recall that an ordered pairs table helps us sketch the curve of a function. So let's take the points from our ordered pairs table, which I've rewritten vertically on the left, and plot them on a grid. So we draw our axes. We have the f of x axis and our x-axis, put some values in for each, and then we plot our points. Our first point is negative 3, 7, so we go 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up, and draw our point, and continue. Negative 2, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, 3, 2, 12, and 3, 25 would be up to the right here. I won't put them in because I don't have enough space, but you could certainly put them in on your grid. And then we draw a smooth line through all the points. So what we end up with is a sketch of the curve of our function. And our function 
f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And so that is what our function looks like using an ordered pairs table to help us sketch it.